So what inspired me to go plastic free was our albatross, our lacing albatross here at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Her name is Makana. She weighs about five and a half pounds and has about a five and a half foot wingspan. Her preferred food is squid. Uh, that's what they primarily eat out there in the wild. So before Makana was here at the aquarium, no one had really tried to train an albatross. So we took what we knew from different animals like our penguins and our otters and we've been training them uh, training her based on how we train them. So she will live to be between 40 and 60 years old. She's only seven, which is mature for uh, a laysan albatross. And the laysan is the second smallest species. The wandering albatross, the largest species, has a 12 foot wingspan. So they are flyers, they glide, they use those beautiful eyes to search for food and that beautiful black feathering around her eyes is like the grease paint that a baseball player would wear. Uh, it reduces glare. The lace and albatross is found nesting on small coral islands in the northwestern Pacific Ocean. In November of 2006, she came to live with us after suffering a wing injury during a research project. And I had been relatively plastic independent before then, but I still had those crutches and not wanting to spend a whole lot of money on things I would buy items in bulk. So to make that really big commitment, it took kind of a shock to the system and learning what albatross experience on a day-to-day -day basis and how many of them are being lost because of this problem, it seemed so easy for me to save lives by just reducing and eliminating really the plastic that I used.